Hey there, it's Vicky Video. Do I even call myself that on these videos? I don't, but that is my handle that I go by. The UK Randonautica correspondent. I am in my hometown in Cheshire, which is a county in the northwest of England. Uh, I'm on the shopping precinct at the moment, but it's a pretty area, a little bit semi-rural. It's Easter Sunday, a holy day here in the United Kingdom, a holiday. Uh, I've got my Easter bonnet on, if you can call it that, and I, I'm going to go randonauting. If you have seen our videos in the past, you will know that this quantum random number uh, exploration app uh, takes you on an adventure in your own neighbourhood. We have had phenomenal success with flamingo finds recently. I don't know why Randonautica is so hung up on flamingos, but me and Auburn found flamingos in Barcelona. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's Where? I can't on see the it. On the, there's those masks oh above there. No, oh there's a flamingo! My God. <laughs> That's right, it's a flamingo. I found them in Manchester. Delighted because we've been randonauting all day and didn't have much luck. Final intent was a flamingo. And I'm talking right at the location that the pin drops. And uh, I'm gonna try it for a third one now. So I'm gonna shut down the video, fire up the app, think and manifest flamingos. And let's go for a drive. I've got a car. Normally I'm on foot, but I'm in my mum's little black car. And I'm going to go a roaming somewhere completely random to shake up my timeline, to add more serendipity to my life, and to hopefully find a little pink filter field feeding bird with lovely long legs. That is a flamingo. Let's go. Oh, it's getting warm. We've got our first warm day here in England. Yeah. I've just called into one of our local charity shops. The first sink is happening. Just before I came out, we were talking about people like my niece, Evie, who's the only little girl. She's got the longest tongue ever. And we were saying that she was like Jean Simmons from Kiss. And I walk into the charity shop and these are crazy, crazy, crazy nights. As with our other flamingo finds, things started to go pink. Keep your eye on the things in this charity shop because they become very relevant later on. Right, to the first point. Boo. Where is it? Oh, over there. That is right near my point. That is a dead badger. Very much not a flamingo randonautica. Poor thing. You've got to report dead badgers in case they have got cubs nearby. So uh, I think I'll ring the RSPCA. Oh dear, the little kid's screaming now because I pointed out the dead badger and they went over to look at it. So... Oh, it's gone cold again, come on. I can still hear the child crying. Funnily enough, the name of the place that I'm looking for is Brock Old Brockton, and Brock, Brock is the old English name for a badger. That child is screaming loud. <sighs> Not very eastery, is it, a dead badger? Maybe it's gonna rise again. Where's my helmet? Uh, I'm trying to find the name of the road I'm on. I was thinking of doing a flamingo intent. I was thinking of doing something religious and the point has dropped me at the old vicarage because it's Eastery. Don't think they'll be very happy if I go up the drive though. Wow, look at that house. That's good and big, isn't it? So it says to report dead badgers to the local council, which I have done. The uh, local council is my new video client and now I've got their direct dial number. So I've messaged Helen at the council to inform her of the dead badger. Uh, so not very nice, but at least I might get a dead badger shifted off the road there and stop, stop the kids from being terrorised by it. That's my good deed for the day. British wildlife is in serious decline, so anything I can do to help our local mammalian populations, but very much not a flamingo. Uh, I'm going to drop another point, another flamingo point. Randonautica can be weird sometimes. This is why I'm using Randonautica today, by the way. My mother and her boyfriend have gone in the pub. I was going to go and drink with them, but I've changed my mind and I've come out Randonauting instead. Uh, a little bit less boozy, a lot more energetic. And um, I suppose by coming out and doing random things, I'm shaking up my timelines rather than sitting in the pub and just doing the same old, same old. To the second point. I get to see some beautiful Cheshire countryside, this lovely old red brick house. Wow, that's old. Oh, it's an easy today. Oh. 
I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh, am I? Oh, no, I'm not. A lot, I'm gonna to have to turn the car around. A lot of people say that Randonautica drops on private property or inaccessible points. Just get as close as you can because Randonautica seems to know that you might not be able to access a point. So just get as close as you can. I've had some of the most sensational finds by just getting across a field from a find, from a location. Um, I'm gonna turn around and just drive a quarter of a mile back down there. Look over the fence in the field. Sometimes it's a house name, a number plate. Somebody going past might say something. Um, and don't forget also, it's what happens along the journey as well. It's not just the destination. Wow, look at these lovely grape hyacinths. Spring is sprung in the UK. <sighs> I'm Neddy. Did you hear Neddy neighing? Should we go and see the horse? Neddy! I think I know what my find was. Definitely not a flamingo, but uh, Easter's a spiritual time. And although myself, I'm not religious, I am spiritual. And especially when you use Randonautica, it awakens you to the fact that there might be some higher powers operating in this universe, very much so. And it's pulled me up. Outside, I've got a tear in my eye, actually, um, outside a place called Ivy Cottage. We've been speaking about my dad a lot. He died when, 10-ish years ago now speaking about my dad a lot and I was wondering if I was going to get a sign from him because I felt close to him the other night and I haven't felt close to him for a long time and it's pulled me up outside this beautiful cottage here there's the car the point's just in that field there the cottage here is called Ivy Cottage that's the name of my dad's old house and it's got a Citroen Picasso outside of it which was also my dad's car so you can see it says Ivy Cottage there that's my daddy Sadly, my dad didn't live in this ivy cottage. He lived in a much smaller ivy cottage. But, Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. And Random Nautica. You just know when it's a find. It leaps out at you. It's suddenly incredibly significant. And you know that that is what Randonautica is trying to show you. Okay, Randonautica, maybe no more flamingos then. Um, take me on a fantastic adventure. Well, no, not fantastic, because I've got to go and pick my mum up. A, a, a nearby fantastic adventure that's accessible for me to get to, um, that holds a wonderful spiritual significance for me, or maybe a family member. Let's go. Were you neighing then? Nay, it wasn't me neighing. On my way to the third point, I said hello to the friendly horses. Oh, I've got no carrots for you. I'm sorry I've got no carrots. I know what my third find was. It has brought me to a... Oh, is that something I can stand on to get a view? It has brought me to a view of one of my favourite... Well, I've always said, actually, it's my favourite place in the universe. Here in uh, Cheshire, we have got one of the world's biggest radio telescope dishes called Jodrell Bank, and it rotates to follow objects across the sky. And sometimes you can see it and sometimes you can't see it because it's faced towards or away. When I was a little girl, my dad used to tell me it was the moon because it's so big. And I'm always craning my neck looking for it from the vantage point here. I think it's about maybe 15 miles away from here. And today it's brought me to a viewing point and Jodrell Bank and it's um, Mark, the smaller dish that's next to it. They're both facing towards me so I can see it. Wait till you see it. It's going to look really good. I think I can zoom in on it. It's massive. You could, if you were a skilled enough pilot, land a jumbo jet in it. Jodrell Bank is giving me a full frontal today. Woo! That's what it brought me to see. I love space. Come on, look at that. Look at that. It's massive. I've, I drive miles trying to get a glimpse of this thing. Fabulous viewpoints from around here. Cheshire. Cheshire cheese. It was Cheshire Day yesterday. There is uh, our particle accelerator. I don't know where it is anymore. Uh, they knocked. There's our... Uh, a few months ago, there used to be eight cooling towers there and they demolished four on one side. 
that's Fiddler's Ferry. They're going to be demolishing the other two for big coal-fired um, fuel station. Power station, that's the word I'm looking for. Defunct. Decommissioned now. I'd say it's taken me about half an hour to cover three points. Usually I go on foot or ride my bike to points, but when you're borrowing your mum's car and you've got a few hours to kill, let's use the car. But Randonautica for me is a great form of exercise, a great form of mindfulness, a great form of discovering that there might be a little bit more to the universe than meets the eye and that meet, than meets common sense. So I hope you enjoy your random auting. Loads of information on the app, built into the app, the FAQs, the help section, find out how it works. And even if you don't find what you're looking for, just appreciate the fact that you've gone on a very random journey to visit some very randomly uh, generated points in your neighborhood that you would never normally visit. And for me, even just the act of doing that is enough to increase the amount of serendipity and weirdness in my life. Now do get out there and find something weird. Like a dead badger. So remember I was in the charity shop and stuff started going pink. Well, I went to the pub to pick up my mum and the little girl came into the pub with a colouring book she'd bought from this charity shop, just behind those flowers. The little girl showed me her finds from the charity shop and I started to leaf through this beautiful foil art colouring book. There's the flimming again. There we go. We found it. Let's have a little look in here. <laughs> the flamingos landed right in my lap. Not necessarily at a point, but you can't deny the existence of more flamingos than you can shake a pink stick at in this colouring book. Uh, let's have a little look. There's a stencil in here. Oh, they're here. Are they? Let's see how it works. <laughs> oh, that's pink in it. I don't know how it works. Oh gosh, isn't that amazing? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There's my mummy. I knew there'd be a flamingo. There always is. I've had a go at drawing a flamingo, but um, it went a bit wrong. It's next a bit stumpy. Is that nice, Violet? What did I say the bird was? Can you remember the name of it? Flamingo. A flamingo. Well done. Well done. How many flamingos did I find in the end? One, two, three, four, five. I'm sure there's another one here. Six flamingos. Seven. I just knew then that the flamingo was going to rock up, and there it was. Flamingo hat trick. Flamingo intent over and out. That's enough flamingos for now. Five charity shops. Oh, yeah. Three charity shops. Oh, my God, that's a lot of flamingos. Jet, let me tell you, Jet is very happy. I'm going to send you again, Robbie, in 10 minutes, so don't come with the wrong score. Unbelievable. Thank you. I already know, mate. I already know. We got an owl in the other book. Despite the dead badger, it was a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon alone, seeing my hometown through new eyes and exploring new areas. But before I go, one last sink. Yes, here's a throwback. When I first met my boyfriend 18 months ago, I asked, should I stick with him? And it took me to a van with this precise decal on it and also several other signs uh, that said maybe we should stick together. So on an adventure, that was my little omen that I should stick with my boyfriend who has now turned out to be the best boyfriend I've ever had in my life. Now get out there and find something weird.